Hi y'all, it's Donna, the cash stuffing realtor. And I decided I would try to do some nails tonight with you all. Uh, my nails are yucky. Uh, I've done them once since I've been back from my cruise. But while I was on my cruise, I had uh, forgotten to bring anything to do with the nails. So I had to wear the same nail polish the whole time. And if there's anything that bothers me, it's not being able to get my nails done. I usually do them at least once a week, guys, sometimes two and three. It's just according to how good the nail polish is and how good it stays on. But if, uh, and they're not pretty, whenever you take the polish off, I've been outside pulling weeds for the rabbit, so you can tell they're just not pretty. But we're gonna get right on into this, and I am going to start pushing the cuticles back. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Somewhere from my bedroom to here, I had lost my all-time favorite buffer here. So, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna start pushing my cuticles back because they have outgrown like crazy. And this is actually a cuticle pusher that I use to scratch for my scratch offs. But that's what I do. I just I just push my cuticles back and then I just scrape the excess off of my fingers like that. And I will speed you up as I do the rest of this. Okay, once I get my cuticles pushed back, and I like to keep this thing clean, so I take the end of my paper towel and clean it a little bit, and just clean the dust off of it. But once I get my cuticles pushed back, I'll start on buffing. So here, we'll speed up during this too. In high school, my aunt taught me to do my nails, and I have always went by what she taught me. I've always done my own nail. Well, I did have them down there for a couple years and they, my nails got in such bad shape that uh, I decided I'd just do it myself. Okay, so we've got them both down enough to, I think they should be all right. I've got something stained on the inside of my finger now. I don't know what it is. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wipe with a paper towel. Uh-oh, uh, sorry, I hit the thing with my leg, the stand that holds the camera. Okay, I just wipe the dust off. And then I've got some super strength, vegan pure vitamin here that I put on my fingernails before. Before I add the polish to it. And I'm about out of this, I'm gonna have to order more. But it came from Amazon. It's it's not uh, it's not that expensive, but it has made a world of difference in the strength of my nails, the hardness of them. And you have to be very generous with this because it needs to soak in your nails. And I put this on every time I go to paint my nails, I do it before I paint my nails. Don't pay no attention to my nails, guys. I did try to clean them real well before I did this, but like I said, I was out pulling uh, grass for the rabbits, and uh, they just, uh, you know how it is when you're outside. You can't do any outside work without messing up your nails. And I've always heard, you can tell uh, if a person's left or right-handed, by the uh, the length of their nails, unless if they they're real nails. If they're false nails, they had them done, so you can't use a tail. But if they're real nails, you can always tell if a person's right or left-handed. But I am left-handed, and look at my look how much longer the left hand is. So 
So we've got our vitamins on and we'll let it dry and I'll come back and we'll add the polish. Okay guys, I'm back to add the polish. Uh, I thought I'd do the yellow today. It seemed like everybody liked the yellow the last time I used it. So I'm gonna polish them all and I'm just gonna do them all the same color this time. It may take a couple coats. My hands shake whenever I do this. I think it's a nerve that I've got where I'm holding them in a certain position. It makes them shake like this. I don't know really what the deal is going on with it. That's just what I assume. It's just a nerve. My aunt that showed me, taught me how to do my nails when I was in high school. She passed away a couple years ago. I miss her. She was the baby of the family, the baby of the girls, not the boys. She, there was a baby boy younger than her, but she was the baby girl. And me and her was really good friends forever. And uh, she passed away. She had cancer of the stomach and of the breast. And uh, she just passed away a couple years ago. Okay, we're going to do another coat. See if it's dry enough to do one. It's funny, I even looked for a, uh, they had a spa day, then I really did a, hand, a nail spa and, and, and uh, massages and everything on the ship. But you had to book it, and they did not just have a place where you could just have your fingernails painted. They were like, it's some kind of finger massage and all that good stuff. And I just didn't want all that stuff. I just wanted my nails painted, and that's all I asked for. And they didn't do that, so I... I had to go the whole trip without having my nails polished. I mean, they were polished, but the polish was getting crusty and old and it looked awful. What do you think, guys? Think another coat should go on that? I think I should do one more. One more coat. Let's do that. Okay, our nails are done. They're polished, they're not done. Cause we still have this super drying clear coat to go over top of it. And I'm about out of this, I'm gonna have to get some more of it. Cause I love my clear coat. This is what makes your polish last longer. It's getting so low it's trying to dry on me before I even get it out of the, out of the jar, out of the bottle.
Okay, y'all, there we go. We're ready for another couple days. Nails painted jello, and hopefully it'll last till the next cast of it anyway. Maybe not, maybe so. It's just one what I do today and tomorrow. But anyway, guys, bye. Bye-bye.